Hi guys! So, uh, today we're gonna cook uh, pork sinigang or sinigang na baboy. So, uh, we're gonna cook the normal Pinoy way. And uh, let's see. Come on! And uh, if this is your first time watching my YouTube channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe here. Okay? Alright, let's go! So, of course, we have our normal uh, cut baboy or pork uh, and then we have the onions, the okra, the chili or the pepper, uh, the talong or the eggplant and then uh, I have some uh, pangkong leaves and I, I have a plant outside and just put, get some leaves out there. <laughs> and then we also have some saluyot. Not your normal uh, sinigang way, but uh, if you have uh, these leaves, you can also try putting that on your sinigang. Okay, let's prepare it. So first, we gotta put the pork meat on the boiling pot and uh, let's wait for it to be uh, tendered. I normally, uh, we normally buy uh, pork shoulder butt and then uh, put some some of the fatty uh, side for our sinigang uh, it, it tastes better if there's some fatty uh, part on it okay some some people do some uh, bones or they call it buto buto but then uh, we prefer this part of the pork and uh, okay so while boiling it, uh, I already I can already put the onions on it, and then we can also put the tomatoes and let it boil. Okay, we can also put the chili or the pepper already, and uh, if you like it uh, spicy or hot, you can uh, mash it into pieces after. But if you have kids and you just want for the pepper or the chili to be uh, mixed or flavor in your sinigang, you can just leave it as is while boiling. Uh, letting it boil, I'll also put some garlic salt on it so that it will have some flavor already and put some pepper, lemon pepper. Okay, and let it simmer for around uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so we prepared our vegetables. Uh, we have the okra, we have the uh, eggplant, we have the kangkong and saluyot, and also the uh, chili leaves. And uh, we want the good taste on your sinigang, we also add some fresh sauce on it. Uh, we're gonna put it in there later. Okay. So I normally put a timer on it so that uh, I, it will alarm once it is on uh, after 15 minutes. Okay. Okay, so after 15 minutes and uh, if you check the meat, if it's still not tender, uh, you just let it uh, boil again. But after 15 minutes, you can already put the sinigang mix. And uh, if you have your own natural way of uh, doing it on your tamarind, uh, you can do it as well. But uh, for us Pinoys, we already have the ready mix. And some people dilute it first. Uh, I, for me, I, I just put it directly on the boiling pot. Okay? Okay. And then, let's mix it. For this, uh, maybe it will take another uh, 
5 to 10 more minutes for the pork to be tendered so let's just wait for it uh, to boil and cook it for 5 more minutes or simmer it for 5 more minutes or 5 to 10 more minutes and then we can put the vegetables on it alright okay naamoy nyo ba yung naamoy ko? hmm amoy sinigang ako lang nakakaamoy <laughs> so uh, we can already put the vegetables on it okra and the egg lang and then let it boil again for adding the leaves uh, we don't want to put the leaves early because it will be overcooked so let's just put the okra and the eggplant first okay and then uh, stir it up and then let it boil again for around uh, two to three minutes okay okay so you can also put the patties or the fish sauce on it to add more flavor to your sinigang. Okay, uh, we'll put the leaves. Mix it and then just wait for another one to two minutes and then it's already cooked and then ready to serve. Alright. And this is our pork sinigang ready to serve. Come on, let's eat. Butom na kami. Uh, it's already lunch time here. And we can eat now. Alright, uh, thank you guys for watching the Sinigang uh, cooking video. And if you like it and you want some more videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe here. And uh, uh, stay tuned. Hmm, yummy. Let's eat. Okay, tikman natin tong sa bang. Hmm, sarap. Hmm, sarap. Let's go. Kain tayo. Okay, let's eat. Let's try to eat the meat and the vegetables. up.